I think that, that this type of beer does bring community together. That's you it. You know, it's not like going to a bar, getting drunk and hitting the dance floor. It's just, it's, it's rare. <laughs> So. You won't. You, you you don't want to see me dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think a lot of people want to see me dance either. But I've accepted that. So. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to All Beer Inside. Back to the brewery, uh, from what you could tell, which is great. And joining us today, we have Steve from uh, Brasserie McFearley. Yep. Hi. Hi. Th thank you very much for letting us interview you today. It's very appreciative. Uh, anybody who's willing to take time to schedule to talk to us about delicious local beer uh, is very important to us. So well, thank you once again. Thanks for the invita invitation. Yes. Uh, so we're going to start with a beer. Uh, as you can see, we have four yep. beers lined up. Yep. Uh, what am I starting with here? Well, over there, you're, we're starting with uh, our, uh, like, the most regular beer for people who want to start you know when in uh, in the passion of a microbrewery so it's a Kolsch mm -hmm. so uh, it's a L a laggard hell so it's very 5% alcohol we put uh, honey malt in it so there's a little bit more uh, crispy in it okay so uh, we could taste it and you, very cool you'll see it as we do on the show a toast. <laughs> a toast. <laughs> oh that beautiful Kolsch smell mm -hmm. all around mm. <laughs> Oh, see, so we're coming around to summer too, and this is like that perfect yeah. summer beer with that little bit of bitterness. I like. So you got the, the crispy or the Kolsch, but it's a little bit more rounder than yeah. Kolsch because of the animal. That's that's a delicious beer. Yeah. That's uh, that's perfect. Like we're coming into summer, the day we're recording, it's a lot lot not like summer, but that's that's a great beer. <laughs> thanks, start. thanks, thanks. Uh, so what's the beer story? Why uh, Brasserie McFurley? Well, I, I, I used to be a postman. And uh, I brewed amateur brew, uh, brewer, mm -hmm. so uh, every, uh, all, lots of my friends were saying, uh, your beer is good, your beer is good, your beer is good. So, oh, okay, <laughs> of course my beer is good, you don't pay it. <laughs> but, but then it, 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 it got back in my head and uh, I wasn't happy at my job. So uh, I decided to quit uh, Post Canada, I retired my uh, pension and to invest uh, in my own uh, brewery. So, Canada uh, Post is a big, yeah. big job in Canada too. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, it took a, a bit of ball to get to yeah. quit, uh, you know, to quit the, the job. But uh, yeah. I did it. We don't get nothing if we don't try it. So, mm -hmm. uh, so I decided to jump in uh, the adventure. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And uh, so, for those who who aren't on the website, uh, the history of uh, McFearley, kind of give a breakdown of that, where it is a Scottish Quebecois yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. joint. So, first of all, Furley. Is my nickname, mm -hmm. and my, uh, both me and my brother, because I, I got a partner in the, the adventure. It's my brother Eric Furland. So uh, our name are Furland. So Furley, we mm -hmm. we've been called Furley uh, since we were kids, and uh, the Mac is uh, our uh, descendants from mm -hmm. uh, Scottish. So uh, we we decided to put Mac Furley. I think it's quite a cool name. Yeah. So uh, Mac Furley, Scottish, and we love our Quebec. So we're a bit passionate about our nation and our uh, nation of Quebec and the nation of Scottish. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's it. <laughs> we got history on our, uh, yes. maybe we'll talk a little bit more uh, about that. We got history uh, on the back of our uh, cans. Yeah. So uh, real stories, real stories. Oh, very, very yeah, cool. Research in that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of research. Uh, I mean, we might as well get to that. Uh, where, where is the creativity of, of one, the labels, two, the stories, and, and three, the beer names? Where does that all come from? Is that you and your brother getting together and kind of snowballing ideas? Or? Well, all the, the, the labels, pretty much all of it, it's me. Mm -hmm. okay? Because my brother joined the, 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 the adventure when we, uh, uh, the, 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 the trademark was already uh, created. He, he saw me created those trademarks, and he was like, I, I want to join it. I want to join it. So <laughs> so he quit his job too, okay. and he joined uh, after. But uh, that starts with uh, one of my friends. He's yeah. an illustrator, and uh, he was he saw me. He, he was following me on the Facebook, like brewing my beers in my garage and everything. So he he, he sent me a message and he said, uh, Steve, if you start your home brewery at some point, I want to create your logo, and it's free. Uh, I do it free for you. So that, that's, the, that's the click that said, 
okay, I got, a, I got, a, I got some help if yeah. I do it, you know. So he created the logo and uh, all the labels come, uh, come from him. It's André Martel, illustrator from uh, L'Assomption. Okay. So all the logos and all the labels come from this guy, which I think is amazing. Yeah, there's creation. a very unique uh, yeah. writing. And, and I saw that you have the tattoo of yeah, the brewery yeah, on your yeah, arm the, too. So that, that's like, like you're, uh, that's you're, a, a statement. Yeah, you're committed. <laughs> there you <laughs> go. Um, there's a few other guys that we've met, uh, the Bois Blanc guys, they have the same thing. They have, oh, yeah. they have their, their label. So it's like, you know, you're committed when. So when you woke up in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go keep going on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, the stories, like what are, what are a couple of stories behind the beers? Cause there is, you know, a good write up uh, yeah. behind each beer. So, well, the story is uh, like the Sibel that we're going to drink mm -hmm. over there. The Sibel is a, a Scottish shell, not, not a Scotch shell, a Scottish yeah. shell. We'll, we'll explain it a little bit later, later. but uh, the Sibel is a uh, Isabel McDuff, which was a, a patriot uh, for, for, for Scotland. Okay. Uh, uh, freedom. And, and she fought uh, right uh, beside uh, Robert Bruce. Okay, cool. And, uh, but she, she got captured. Yeah. And she was uh, imprisoned in a cage, outside cage, for four years. Oh, wow. Four years. So, so what we want to do with uh, this story is that we, we don't have to be a, you don't have to be a warrior that mm -hmm. fought and then what, that won the victory. This woman was as much as a, a warrior and a great patriot than any, any, any man that fought for a Scottish uh, uh, independent, independence. That's very cool to yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, you know, it's bringing it back to your history of like, here's, this is us. That's it. So yeah. that's, uh, that's very important that behind every brewery, you know, it's, this is us, these are our beer styles, this is what we're creating. So uh, it's, it's that creativity and the science behind beer that allows you to, to get that all out. Yeah. So I always, I, lo I love hearing, this is why the show exists, is I love hearing the stories about the breweries and getting it on tape and, and getting us and you guys out there for the world to see is even better. So, okay, what's uh, beer number two we're going to try? Well, the, actually, this is a, this is a, right over there, it's a Siri Pirouette. The Siri Pirouette is every four months, we put a new beer inside the can. Okay. Okay, so we, for us, it's, you know, you create some new stuff for, for people. So this one is like, it's a summer beer again. It's a lager, two fruit, three fruit lager. Okay. So we got in there uh, blueberries, uh, raspberries, and uh, uh, black blackberries. Blackberries, yeah. yeah blackberries. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's got it's all berry on the nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is a, a lager. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much all the time, the 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 the, the fruit beer are come from hails. Yeah. So we wanted to do different. For, so why not call a lager? You can see it. The clear. Yeah. It's clear. So. Cheers. Toast. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> oh, it's nice because it's it's balanced the berries like it's, it's not overpowering the beer in any way. And, and you get you get the nice the nice malt backbone of the lager. Yeah, so. it's not it's not sugar. There's no sugar. It, it's dry. Mm -hmm. It's a dry beer. Yeah, so. this is this is another like summer beer. It mm -hmm. feels like it's mm -hmm. just something I could have on a tech ass. Mm -hmm. Uh, for those who don't know what it's a yeah, it's a patio. Uh, it's, you know, or uh, at the ballpark with friends, just putting down a couple of cans of this. It's very, very well balanced. And what's the alcohol on this one, roughly? Five. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you could have two or three, no problem. The other one uh, before, two, the Kolsch was mm -hmm. five. Five percent alcohol. Yeah. Both five. So very, cool. very cool beer. Yeah, very tasty. We, we, we sold a lot of the, 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 uh, this beer. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of beer. <laughs> We've had two more or less. I mean, the Kolsch is obviously a lager ale, and then this lager with the fruit. So do you focus predominantly on lagers, or is that kind of your flagship? Uh, yeah, maybe we'll uh, explore a little bit more the lager, but uh, maybe uh, with uh, because our brewery uh, behind there, there, there won't be glycol mm -hmm. system, so it's going to be uh, fermented okay. with uh, hair, you know, yeah. with uh, temperature. Okay. So uh, probably use a little bit uh, more uh, the Vike. Uh, uh, Vike uh, East. Vi Vi east. Oh, yeah, yeah. east. I was searching for uh, <laughs> <laughs> East, the East. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Vike East. Yeah. So uh, maybe some lager Vike East or something like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll explore that yeah. for sure. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how, how many years have you been around now? Because I've only seen you on shelves like two or three years that I can remember. So. Well, it was created in 2018. Okay. Uh, like I told, I was brewing before mm -hmm. uh, amateur. 
So, uh, but we created our train marks in 2018. The cans are available on our market uh, since uh, May uh, 2019. Yeah, okay, so, so two, uh, years. two years. Two years, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I remember see, seeing you came out around the same time as, as another brewery, and it's like, oh, a new brewery is like, because this is what, I mean, Quebec, Ontario, Canada in general, just the expansion of craft beer has been amazing. I really think that uh, like in Ontario, in Quebec, and if you go, uh, uh, Vermont, mm -hmm. uh, all these places, quality of water. Yeah. The water. The water is the main base of the, the beer. So you got to have a good water, quality water to have a good beer. So that's why in Quebec, the quality of yeah. water, the, you, you don't ask for a good yeah. water in Quebec. It's here. Yes. You know? <laughs> and it's there in Ontario too. And, it, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, like, I mean, the main parts of, you know, we're along the entire fleuve. So that's it. The, the entire section of the province is all from Quebec, well, Quebec's Gaspésie all the way down through Montreal. Yeah. It's just follow the St. Lawrence That's into Ontario. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we have more than enough water. Yeah, it's got to be treated, obviously, and things yeah, like that, but yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, we got more than enough water to create delicious beer. So it's, it's awesome. Uh, usually what I ask is, uh, did you have any like problems opening? Did you run into any government kickback? The city didn't want your brewery around, anything like that? Kind of roadblocks and difficulties. Well, like any brewery that is open up, opening up the, the, the Régie des Alcools is a little bit, it's tough, you know, it's tough. You got to do your homeworks and everything. So uh, that's okay. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's trick, but we got good quality products uh, at the end. So that, that's okay. Uh, city, city, uh, we, had, uh, we had to change our permit, uh, ask for a change of permit to do, to do so. So it wasn't that, you know, it's, it's only time. You know, it, it takes some time, it's a uh, bureaucracy and you know, it's uh, people working in a bureau and that's okay, they do earn a fine jobs, but uh, it takes time, you mm -hmm. know? so uh, that, that's about only the, the, the only thing that we had. No, no real pushback. I, no, know, no, uh, no. I know a couple of guys are just like, the city did not want us here. No. It's, it's, it's really <laughs> no. sad to hear because uh, I come from Verdun, where it was a dry county for a hundred years. Yeah. Uh, and then Benelux came in and the, the rules that Benelux had to follow uh, it was very strict. Uh, the city told them the first fight, you're, go you're gone, you're done. Uh, this, uh, your terrace closes at 11. They, they have followed all the rules in five years now, and I get to enjoy great beer, uh, 20 minute walk from my house. Yeah, so. yeah. But I, I think that uh, some cities think that, are thinking that it's bars. You know, mm -hmm. we're, not, we're not bars, no. you know, where people come here to, to, to gathering and uh, talk and, uh, See, we, uh, there's a, an expression in, in French that we say, uh, we're the new uh, 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 Perron d'Eglise, okay. the, the church. Yeah, the new church uh, steeple yeah, type. That's uh, it. So it, people yeah. come from here to talk, and uh, there, there's no dibit of alcohol uh, yeah. here. Uh, people enjoy the yeah. one or two or three, three paints. Mm -hmm. And after, uh, and what's, what's the good stuff around here, where we are? People are living, a lot yeah. of people, it's not in the center yeah. town of, uh, yeah. you know, uh, L'Assomption. So there's a lot of people uh, living around and they, they walk, yeah. they walk to come uh, take, a, take a beer. Yeah, I can tell driving up, it's a mix of residential and, and kind of shops and obviously there's industrial, I'm sure, not too far away. Yeah, uh, yeah. You also have your friends down the street, Le Fermenter. So yeah, Fermenter. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They were a former nice interview friend. as well, so it's, uh, it's great to see two breweries in L'Assomption and I'm sure there's more on the way at some point, which would be great. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, Always, it, please. It does bring, <laughs> I, I think, that, that this type of beer does bring community together. That's you it. You know, it's not like going to a bar, getting drunk and hitting the dance floor. It just, it's, it's rare. So. You, won't, you, you don't want to see me dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think a lot of people want to see me dance either, but I've accepted that. So. Uh, you did mention you were a home brewer to start. Do you remember a couple of those first beers you brewed where you're like, this is it, this is where Canada Post is great, but I want to change this into a job. Do you remember those first one or two beers that you're like, this is, this is my passion now. The first beer that I brew was a pale ale, a Citra pale ale, and uh, with coriander in it. So we don't have it now, but uh, we, we might, I think it's gonna be the one, the first one that we, we brew and we, uh, we get, our, as soon as we get our brewing system. Uh, so the, the, the Citra pale ale uh, with coriander was a tremendous hit with my friends. And uh, 
this is the beer that uh, started, uh, yeah, yeah. And it's gonna be back uh, for sure on the, on the taps be, behind, that's for sure. Hopefully yeah. I can it's get a it. commitment. <laughs> yeah, hopefully I can get it in cans back <laughs> on the island of Montreal yeah, too, yeah. so that'd be even better. Yeah. Awesome, uh, what's beer number three we're gonna be trying here? This is a Scottish shell, okay. so it's called Esbel. Mm -hmm. So it's the one that the story uh, before. So it's not a Scotch ale. So a Scotch ale is seven to 11% mm -hmm. uh, alcohol. This one is 5.5. .5. So the sugar, uh, the sugar, uh, the amount of sugar yeah. is a little yeah. bit less, but the taste is all there. So it's, it's a little bit more, you, you, don't, you don't drink only one thing. You can, do, you can drink one or two or three. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, uh, Nose is beautiful. Toast. Toast. Caramel, yeah. Caramel nose, and uh, at the end you might have uh, uh, torrefaction. Mm -hmm. uh, so, ca coffee, a little bit of coffee, coffee chocolate. Coffee, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's almost like an English bitter too. It's yeah. Got, it's, it's... There's a, a little bit of bitter mm -hmm. in it, mm -hmm. but not not mm -hmm. not that much hop. It's uh, the hop the, the hop in there. It's a fuggle. Mm -hmm. So uh, the English fuggle. Oh. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of this beer. Wow, <laughs> this is. Uh, I'm starting to to enjoy the more like caramel toffee English bitter style beers. It's uh, this is a big hit yeah. for us. This is a this this beer. Mm -hmm. You know, there's there's not that much of kind of this kind of beer mm -hmm. in, in Quebec. So this is a big big hit. We sell a lot of the smell, and that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's definitely. Uh, uh, so, like you said, you've only been around a couple of years now. Have you collaborated with any other breweries to make a beer yet? Well, uh, n not yet, okay. uh, but there's uh, collaboration on the way. Uh, we got maybe one with Broadway because our, our beers are brewed with, uh, in partnership with Broadway and mm -hmm. uh, Shawinigan and uh, because our system is not ready uh, behind again. So we're pretty much like a contract brewery okay. now, right now, but soon we'll be 100% our own, uh, but we're gonna keep our, our uh, partnership with Broadway for the volume. Okay. Okay. But here we're gonna for all the taps behind, and we're gonna do some uh, like a fermentor, mm -hmm. 50, uh, 500 yeah. milliliter bottle uh, available here, so uh, people gonna, can get our beer that we brew uh, on, on place uh, at our location. Mm -hmm. But uh, collaboration, uh, we're looking for one that, that, that's, that's going to be pretty cool uh, with Hoe Creek. Okay. Hoe Creek in uh, New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. So uh, Patrice Degg, who's the brewer of Hoe Creek, uh, we're in touch and uh, might have something coming up with the uh, McFurley Hoe Creek uh, collaboration. Yeah. No. Any, uh, any dream, like you mentioned, you know, we have great water in Vermont, Ontario, Quebec. Any kind of dream collaborations if you could go to oh. Ontario or Toronto or um, I mean, the guys from Third Moon, they're like a year old, you know, any kind of dream collaborations that you can think of? Well, I, there's, there's one that uh, we, I know uh, a lot of people did the, the, the trip to Burlington, around Burlington, mm -hmm. Vermont. Uh, there's brewery over there that I, I love it. It's a uh, foam, foam, foam yep. brewery. Mm -hmm. So uh, this would be a, this would be a pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The first time I ever went to phone, there's a lineup and I was just like, what's this? And they're like, this is just to buy beer. It's not even to drink a beer. I'm like, what? But it's there's another dream that that's the, that's the, it's to uh, a brewery from Scotland, Scotland. Okay. Yeah. That would be, you know, that would be. Do you have any, any ideas of, of who it'd be? I, I'm not too familiar with Scottish no, breweries. I, so. I can't, I can't tell you uh, one, you yeah. know, but, uh, we're gonna start for our, with our own, yeah. our own, create some contacts over there, and then. Uh, well, there you go. I'm, oh, I yeah. mean, you're still young when it comes yeah. to the, the craft beer game, so just, you're getting your name out there, obviously, you're on shelves in Quebec everywhere, so that's, that's the important part. Because, you know, when, I, when, I, when I'm talking about you, about uh, the Scotland Brewery, because uh, here, uh, we want to uh, we wanna create recipes that, uh, old recipes uh, from Scotland. Mm -hmm. The Lean Frock. Yeah. You, you know what's a lean frock? No, I've never. It's a, it's a, with a, a group, group. Okay, uh, a group, yeah. A group, yeah. yeah. So no hop, mm -hmm. so only herbs and uh, so uh, with, with the malt, yeah. all the malt and, uh, you, know, yeah. you know, barley and everything, but uh, with the group, that's yeah. it. So, uh, so that, we, we, we want to do this uh, here in the brewery. Uh, you have mentioned you are going to expand, you know, kind of 
Are you gonna try to go to the sausage place next door? Or? Well, uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, the, the, the saucer. Yeah. Maybe, he, he, he's a little bit small right now. Okay. He knows it. So he might move a little bit, you know, and maybe this way or the other way. We don't know. Yeah. But uh, for sure, we're gonna expand uh, at some point. Yeah. No, it's, yeah. it's awesome. And yeah. uh, you're obviously very popular because, like I said, I constantly see new beers of yours on shelves. So that's, that's super important. Thank you. Uh, now you're obviously very busy, but let's say some time slows down and you could take a, a beer vacation again, a beer vacation. Mm. Uh, when it's safe to travel, obviously when the world's a little whole less pandemic, uh, where's something that somewhere that you'd love to go for a beer vacation, obviously Whoa. besides Scotland, I'm sure <laughs> that, but you, yeah, <laughs> I was about to mention yeah. that that's a, that's, that's a no, a no brainer, you know, but, uh, German, okay. German the lager, mm -hmm. the lager, Czechoslovakia. Vaki with uh, the the pils the pilsner, so my I like to see some breweries from there. That's a, that's beer vacation. That's a, yeah Europe Europe yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure for sure for sure. Awesome. Uh, what's beer number four we're trying here? That's our American IPA. Okay. So uh, we brewed this beer with honey, so uh, the bitterness uh, is six uh, sixty IB, uh, IBU mm -hmm. IBU say? Yep. IBU. So uh, it's you know it's not that. Bitter, but we got some bitterness. But the bitterness is cut with the. You get it. You you get it yeah. in, the, in the mouth, but it's cut with the honey. And uh, all the beers, like I told, all the beers with mm -hmm. honey malt. So it's a an American IPA that's a little bit more rounder. Yeah. Mm. We nice. brew it with uh, toast. Toast. <laughs> <laughs> we brew it with uh, it's dry up a uh, mosaic. Okay. Dry up. Yeah, barely any bitterness. Mm. Yeah, there's no like overpowering. It's not yeah. like that's it. There's no like crazy hoppiness coming down. It's it's very well balanced, and, and the faint the faintness of the the honey sweetness is there too. So it's very nice. So with with this beer, we we get a lot of people that doesn't like doesn't like IPA. Mm -hmm. They try this and they say, oh, that's not bad. So yeah, so that's good. I, you know, I, that's good because people know get to know beers, and uh, maybe after. Uh, uh, one or two years drinking that, they say, oh, I want to try another yeah. IPA, you know, so. I, cause I, I have a feeling that the people who are new to craft beer are, are given the New England's right away. So it's just like yeah. hot bomb, hot there bomb, hot goes. bomb. Where, That's it. Yeah, if you go to a basic, a basic style of American IPA or, or British IPA or anything like that, you, that's probably like your better jump off point, so. That's it, that's it. Now you do have a, a quick menu as well. Do you have any kind of food and beer pairings uh, that you suggest for anybody? Or? Well, we, we, we got our friends from, uh, we're doing uh, over here, we, it's pub style, but uh, barbecue style. Okay. Okay, food. So we got wings, mm -hmm. we got uh, ribs, uh, pulled pork, uh, nachos with pulled pork, <sighs> and uh, you know, so uh, grilled cheese. We got some grilled cheese with pulled pork. <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> so it's a pretty much pub, pub food. But good pub food uh, with uh, local local uh, mm -hmm. uh, local partnership. Like in our grilled cheese, uh, we got bacon, the uh, Patriot, okay. uh, the bacon that it's samuré. Uh, uh, it's uh, summer. Okay. It, it, it goes in the, in in the beer for two or three days. Okay. The the bacon, the yeah. the, the pork flank, yeah. stay in uh, in the beer. And after he smoke, he yeah. smoke it. So it, it, the the bacon is doing. It's done with the, the American IPA. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of partnership with the local uh, businesses, yeah. and uh, we're trying we're trying to do as much as possible this because it's important. Mm -hmm. You know, it's important that people come see us. It's important to give it back. Yeah. It's like a circle. Eh? Yeah. So you don't you don't only you're not only encouraging mm -hmm. a new business from a local you're making them live. Mm -hmm. uh, and you mentioned supporting locals, so there's a barbecue sauce in the middle. Uh, who, yep. who are those guys? Alpha Barbecue. Okay. Like I told uh, for barbecue, they're making sauces. This is our their, their sauces. Their, uh, that's the one that you it's used for chicken wings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the ribs and all comes from the, these guys. They're amazing. They're uh, doing events and everything. So Alpha Barbecue, you'll see that. You'll see great food. Very, very great food. Two big guys, two <laughs> lovers. And actually, they, they, they were on the TV with uh, Bruno Girard. Okay. You know the TV with uh, the competition between two guys? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, they were on the team. Oh, the Quebec Yeah, Bruno Giraud. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Bruno Giraud, yeah the, the, the strongman from okay, Canada, yeah. strongman yeah. Bruno Giraud. So they were on TV and that. They're doing great stuff. So uh, very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing I usually ask is, let's say somebody's new to craft beer and they're just drinking your, you know, your Coors or your Coronas or your Molson's, whatever, and they come here, what's like that gateway beer you introduced them to, to, to switch them to craft beer? Well, the first one that we had, it's called the Maurice. Mm -hmm. So the Kolsch, the, that's, that's the one that uh, I, I know a lot of people, like my, actually my, uh, my neighbor inside, uh, in front of uh, my house, uh, he drinks only Bud Light, Bud Light, Bud Light, Bud Light. But uh, I, am, I, am, I had them try this one, mm -hmm. the Kolsch, and uh, so now he drinks it. But he's, he keeps the, the Bud Light. Yeah. But, but when he's cooking, he says, that's a good beer to, you know, when I cook and I cook and I drink this slowly, that's a good beer. That's okay. awesome. So that maybe maybe he'll drink all only that in the, in the, in the near future. But uh, yeah, that's the one that we uh, we sell to. Uh, and now somebody comes here and they try your beers and, and around the area or even further out. What are some from some friends you suggest that that people try in, in the La Sanction general area of, of more beers? Uh, I, I can pass the, the, our, our friend from here, uh, Fermentor. Mm -hmm. You got to go uh, try the Fermentor. Fermentor, they were they, they started a little bit like us, you know. They, they, were, they were very now they're they're expanding <laughs> everywhere, and these guys are very cool, and they're playing music. And yeah. They're the music lover, and uh, these guys are amazing. They they help us a lot in our brewing uh, house house brew uh, back, and uh, good friends, good friends, and their beer very good. Uh, their terrace is fantastic. And uh, yeah, you could go over there, and uh, of course, uh, in La Nozière, there's uh, plenty. And actually, in La Nozière, I'm announcing uh, for you guys, it, it's going to be uh, uh, mentioned in one week or two. It's, there's going to be a Route des Bières, a brew, uh, beer, uh, beer route. Beer festival? Okay. Beer route, yeah. uh, like uh, the one in uh, the East, East yep. Beer route, uh, Route. Okay. And, uh, so there's it's gonna be it's gonna be called La Nobiar. Okay. And uh, all 15 breweries from La Nobiar are gathering up to create a mark trade to be proud of our uh, brewery in La Nobiar. So awesome. it's gonna be announced. So uh, of course I'm saying to people go <laughs> yeah. go visit them. Yeah. Go visit them. There's a lot of uh, Tricari in Saint Combe. Uh, there's I can name it. Uh, yeah. There's plenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, now you already mentioned the expansion. So uh, besides that, do you see yourself getting even bigger? Maybe trying to get your beer outside of Quebec if it was a possibility, things like that, or if it's, if there's a possibility, of course. You know, mm -hmm. if, but we're gonna try now for for now to 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 be strong in our region, uh, which we we are now, but more strong locally, and then we'll see after. Uh, because everywhere in uh, in, the, in in Quebec, it's uh, it's yeah. <laughs> it's beeping outside. Yeah. Everywhere in Quebec, it's you know people are starting to drink more local, local yeah. and local. So uh, yeah, I know I know this one. You you, you probably knew uh, Dominique Gosselin from Brassard du Stain. Yeah. So Dominique, uh, the, he used to be uh, Brassard du Stain used to be all around, all around Quebec, mm -hmm. but they change they change their view. They cut their their uh, relation with their uh, distributor, mm -hmm. and they distribute their their do the home distribution right right now, but only in Ottawa. Okay. So uh, and there he was uh, telling me uh, two weeks ago uh, we're doing business like we it's you know people drink more and more local yeah. stuff. Yeah. That's good. That's that's very important. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, this has been fantastic. I have no other questions for you today. Uh, thank you once again for your time. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Uh, so for those who are trying to either find the location or find you guys on social media, uh, let my audience know where they can find you. Well, you could go on brasseriemcferley.ca and uh, our Facebook, Brasserie McFurley. Uh, all the details are over there. And uh, we put a lot of stuff on our Facebook page, Instagram, Instagram, Brasserie uh, McFurley. Everything's there. Awesome. Yeah.
Uh, so all that's going to be in the show notes. So feel free to add them on your social medias. As for us, we're at All Beer Inside everywhere. Uh, AllBeerInside.com is the website. Hopefully the merch shop will be up at some point. Uh, and as I say at the end of all episodes, drink craft, not crap. <laughs>